Hey everyone, welcome to a new apartment tour. Today you join us in London, I'm actually in Canary Wharf and I'm gonna be showing you around this apartment that's listed at 1.5 million pounds with William from Felicity J Lord. Um, so if you want any more information, all their details will be in the description below. And William also has a YouTube channel and I'll link that at the top of the description so you can check out some of his tours, definitely recommend. Now let's start this tour. So at the front of the apartment, we do have the family bathroom. In here we have a shower head over the bath. Well, you immediately notice as you walk through this apartment is just how much space is on offer. We've recently toured a lot of others in this area. This is a big apartment. Okay, so we've got the laundry room through here. So you actually do have a washer and a dryer and some great storage. Let's pop the floor plan up on the screen for the layout. So there's three bedrooms in total, yeah. two bedrooms up top and one down here. Yeah, it's over two floors. Come into the first room then. So this could be one of the bedrooms, but it's currently used as like a snug, cozy room. And it's got great views across Canary Wharf and the water. And you'll also see that a lot of balconies throughout this apartment. So you've got one through here. I'll just show you outside. Let's go. Yeah, so this is a good look at the view from outside. Again, when we go up to the top floor, you'll see even more but a look across Canary Wharf that way. We're on the fourth floor and fifth floor yeah. in this apartment. Okay, let's keep exploring. If you're new to our channel, you may not know, so Summer and I aren't agents ourselves. We tour some of the most amazing, unique, incredible properties across England. So make sure to obviously subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of that. So it's very modern throughout here, a great feel of light and space because it's double height here. And then again, that goes up to the fifth floor where some more of the bedrooms are. Where I am is the living area. I love the glass balustrades and the floating style staircase. Obviously you've got the TV unit and everything built in here. It's hard wood flooring throughout. This room is filled with natural light. Yeah, for sure. Should we check out the kitchen? Yeah, so here's the kitchen area, kind of a U shape. We've got Siemens appliances throughout. So there's a four ring induction hob there. And then across the other side, we have the microwave grill, plate warmer, and then the oven. Where's the fridge? Is that the, yeah, fridge and freezer? Yeah, fridge and freezer side. each side, which is good. You know, both full height. Now we're just seeing so many at the moment, aren't we? Where they're only half and half. Yeah, it's you know? just you silly. You need more space than that. So that's good. And obviously then finally the sink and everything over here with some more storage. And they are soft closed drawers. I like that you can cook um, and be looking out onto your lounge and then the river um, out the windows. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now guys, I want to show you this. So come over to this side, past the six feet of dining table. We're gonna go outside. Now, in my personal opinion, this is the selling point of this apartment, especially with everything that's happening in the world. People want more outdoor space. This is like the outdoor garden you'd expect in a terraced house or small new built semi detached house. Yeah, and it actually goes all the way around there too. Yeah, let's check it out. This is the view from this side. And finally, back on this side of the terrace then, it's a similar view to the balcony that we were just on and then views across the river and Canary Wharf. All right, there's loads more to see. Let's get back inside and take you up to the first floor. Actually, the fifth floor. So it's definitely worth mentioning some of the other facilities and everything that we've got here. So there's a private and secure car parking space underground for this particular apartment. Then there's also a Nuffield Health gym. So you haven't just got one of those gyms that developers put in that has the bare minimum. It's a proper gym. And then you've also got the Nuffield Health swimming pool as well. Okay, let's, let's check out upstairs. So upstairs, we've got again, floods of light coming through. We've got a Juliet balcony here. And you are certainly sport with the outdoor space for an apartment. Again, another balcony area. So many balconies. It's good, isn't it? And this is perfect. I like that they're using this space for an office without having to use one of the bedrooms. It's certainly wide enough and long enough to make that happen. And then another Juliet balcony. So this apartment is just over 1700 square feet. Again, you'll have seen the full size on the floor plan. And I think the building is around eight years old. Yeah, eight years old. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the upstairs some more. Two bedrooms up here. Yeah. Okay, come around here then into what is currently bedroom two. This is a double bedroom with an ensuite. 
currently used obviously as a kids room, which is cute, great view. And here is the ensuite. So really like the finish there of the tiles. Here's the shower. And then in there you've got the air filtration system as well. These are the wardrobes for yeah. this bedroom. A Juliet balcony with privacy glass on that side. And then a private balcony, which is really cool. What a lovely kids bedroom. I okay. remind of you over Canary Wharf when I was younger. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Let's go down this long hallway to the other bedroom. What's great about this part of the apartment for me is how private this bedroom is. So this I, is the principal bedroom? Yeah, yeah, and it's completely separate from the other space in the apartment. Okay, here's a look across the room. And then from here, you've obviously got another balcony. So you really are spoiled there again with the same views across there. And quite a long integrated wardrobe, which is cool. There's also another wardrobe section outside, just around the corner. And finally, we've got the ensuite. So there. there's three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Shower again. And a sink. Yeah, as Summer mentioned, over here is basically a walk-in wardrobe area. And so it's an L shape with even more storage here. And that door is another exit, which takes you onto the fifth floor. All right, so now we've checked out the interior of this apartment. Let's go finish the video on the outdoor terrace. So take a look at the property from here. Obviously, I think this is the, well, this and the outdoor terrace is the best area for me. Here we are, so that was interesting to take a look around this apartment. Again, this is 1.5 million pounds in Canary Wharf. So I'm really interested to hear your thoughts, guys, on this property. What do you think? What do you think to the style inside? Again, if you are interested, um, the agent's details will be at the top of the video description for any more info. Again, so 1,700 square feet, 1.5 million, and right in Canary Wharf. So Summer and I are obviously touring loads of luxury properties and unique houses and apartments. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Was there any more details to know about the property, Summer? It is a leasehold property. I know a yeah. lot of people will be asking about that and it's got over a hundred years. I'm yeah. not sure exactly, but it's over a hundred. So a really good amount, um, but yeah, it's, it is leasehold. Okay, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and we'll see you in our next one.